so uh, there's I've literally not done any jet uh, or uploaded any jet videos simply because I am very much a noob whenever it comes to jets. Uh, I mean, as you can see, I've got a pretty good assortment of them here, but I haven't. Re I've only really spaded one of them. Uh, I'm in the pro in the process of uh, spading this one. I'm working on the weapons right now. I've already got all the all of the uh, flight performance and survivability upgrades, but as I mean, that being said, I still have literally no idea what I'm doing whenever it comes to jets. I'm trying to apply the same tactics for flying jets as I do uh, with flying uh, propeller-driven aircraft. Uh, so uh, whether or not that is uh, how you're supposed to do it is still a mystery to me. Um, but one thing I have noticed is that flying jets is a completely different animal than flying propeller driven aircraft so I'm gonna jump into a battle and we're gonna see if uh, we can make anything happen okay we proceed to down tier it looks like and not to mention we've also gotten a uh, mixed battle and we're up against British and Americans on the other team, while on my team we have Americans and Germans. Ah, oh, great. Means meteors. I hate meteors with a fiery passion. Fucking die already, dude. what I would give for some wing mounted weapons. I can't stand weapons mounted in the nose. People say that they're more accurate. They're really not. I, I tend to do better with wing mounted weaponry. I would run out of ammo right there. Yeah, like I said, I'm just, I'm really not a fan of nose mounted weaponry. I prefer it to be in the wings. It's a lot easier to aim, I at least I think. That's maybe I'm part of the minority on that. There are other people that prefer all of your weapons mounted in the nose. I just, I, I don't like it. I, I tend to do better with wing mounted weapons. Excellent. Okay, there's only two enemies left. Roger just, that. There he is. It's a 
B-29. Which means he's basically a sitting duck. I mean, he does have defenses, but... If I get my speed up, I might be able to get to him. Attack the enemy! Engaging the enemy! Okay, where's that guy? He's way over there. Okay. The B-29 is the closest. I don't want to go in behind him. Let's drop in below him and climb up and see if I can get a pot shot in on him here and there. I want to keep my speed up as high as I can. Awesome! Returning to the airfield. Damn, one of these guys has four kills. I can't remember if this guy has a ball gunner or not. I'm not really an expert on the B-29. I know he has I know he has waist gunners and that's what he's trying to do is angle himself so his waist gunners can get a shot at me. Right, I got him burning now. I gotta get away. Let the fire do its work. Well done. Okay. So I walked away from this one with two kills and an assist. I'll take it. Second place. Not bad considering the fact that I am a complete noob whenever it comes to jet battles. Okay, so, let's see, two kills, one assist, two, cr two crits, ten hits, see, I did, I did land once and rearm, yeah, not bad. I can't really say for certain if I did it right or not, because, like I said, I'm not, I have literally no idea uh, what the capabilities of this specific aircraft are. Um, I tend to focus more on propeller-driven aircraft, but uh, it seems to me like you just basically want to keep your speed up as high as you can and don't let and try not to bleed it off. Um, from what I could tell in that battle, it it does have really good energy retention now as I said before though I mean I have taken this aircraft out before as you can see by the things that I've unlocked for it but anytime I take it up against other aircraft it, I never really did too well um, I so for the most part all this uh, all this stuff I got here was just from grinding ground targets but like I said uh, it seems to me like the best way to use this aircraft is just to keep your speed up. This thing can go well over 500 miles an hour. And whenever you go into turns or banks or anything like that, don't turn really sharply. Uh, keep your turns nice and smooth and um, keep them nice and deliberate as well uh, so you don't bleed off too much speed. Because the kind of speed you're, that I've noticed that you get with this aircraft, even if you're turning, as long as you remember to make it nice and deliberate and try not to bleed off your speed while you're turning, 
whatever's chasing you isn't going to be able to catch you anyway. So, anyway, uh, if you uh, enjoyed this video, please uh, click the uh, subscribe button down below. There's also a like button down there. Uh, hit, feel free to hit that and share, comment, whatever you want to do. Uh, I'll, uh, I'm going to try to keep uploading more jet games. Uh, I actually really enjoyed this one. Um, as you can see, I've got an assortment of different jets down here. Uh, really, I only have a couple more to unlock for the American Tech Tree. But, um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to try to get some more jet battles uploaded. I'm working on getting uh, jets in the other nations. I'm getting close on, on pretty much all of them. Um, but, yeah. Jets. I'm a complete noob. But... Uh, hopefully we'll uh, be able to, hopefully we'll be able to fix that. Anyway, see you guys next time.